Hi guys and welcome back to the next tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at joining our granny squares. So you want to go ahead and do one row um, of your joining colour. Now this can be the colour of your granny squares if you like. Um, I like to do it in a different colour um, just so that it stands out but it's totally up to you. So take your next granny square and attach your joining colour in one of the edge spaces. So as I've said before I do like to tie my yarn. Um, you don't have to um, but I'd just like to do that so that I know that it's extra secure and it's not going to come out. So we're going to start off this row as we would normally. So pull your yarn through and chain three, one, two, three and then two more treble crochets in this space. So we're going to make our way to this corner and just do one cluster of three trebles. So I've made my way to the corner and I've just done one cluster of three. I'm then going to chain one and take my other granny square. And I'm going to select the corner and I'm going to insert my hook into that corner space from the top and then I'm going to grab my yarn and pull it through that corner space. I'm then going to continue and pull it through the loop on my hook to create a slip stitch. I'm then going to forget about that square and I'm going to go back to my original square and continue with my second cluster of three in this corner space. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and two more one, two. So we're then going to do the same thing for each of these spaces. So we're going to go into the next space on the other granny square and insert our hook from the top. We're going to grab our yarn and pull through and then pull it through the loop on the hook for a slip stitch. Ignore that granny square and continue into this space with your next cluster of three trebles. Again into the next space on your other granny square, insert your hook from the top, grab your yarn and pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook for a slip stitch. Again ignore that granny square and continue with a cluster of three trebles in this next space. One, two, three. And again insert from the top Grab your yarn and pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook for a slip stitch. Then continue with a cluster of three in the next space along. So this can be quite fiddly when you first start. All it takes is practice um, and it soon becomes clear. So at this point if you see, you're actually going to look like you've got two spaces left on this top granny square and only one space left on this bottom granny square. So it does look like you've done something wrong, but I assure you, you haven't. So just keep going. So insert from the top, grab your yarn and pull through, and then pull through for a slip stitch. So we're now into this corner space. So again, we do our first cluster of three one, two, three, chain one and then insert into this corner space. Insert, grab your yarn and pull through and then pull through for the slip stitch. And then you just continue with your second cluster of three in that same corner space. So one, two, 
3 and then we continue round this square as normal straight in with a cluster of three trebles on every edge and on the corner we would do a cluster of three chain two for the corner and a cluster of three so if you want to pause the video here and just make your way around and I'll meet you back at the end so I've made my way back around and all that's left to do is join this round and we just do that in the normal way so insert your hook into the top stitch of that first chain three yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch and then we yarn over and pull through snip our yarn and pull through and then pull tight to secure so that's your first granny square joined so you would join all your granny squares in exactly the same way so when you get to the point where you've got two edges to join you just work in exactly the same way so you start off one of your edges and when you get to the corner space you chain one you take your piece of work and you work in to this corner so insert your hook from the top grab your yarn and pull through pull through the loop on your hook for a slip stitch and then ignore that granny square and work your second cluster of three into this corner space here so one two three continue along this edge so insert from the top grab your yarn and pull through pull through for a slip stitch ignore that granny square and walk your cluster of three trebles into this space on this granny square so continue along and I'll meet you at the corner so I've made my way back along and I'm now at this corner space I would advise that when you first start joining granny squares that you do actually work on a flat surface and keep your work flat um, it's much easier to see which hole you're, you're working into um, once you know what you're doing you're absolutely fine to, to do it wherever sit on the sofa in front of the TV, in the garden uh, whatever you please um, but it is good to, to practice on a flat surface it does make it a lot easier so in the corner we're going to work um, as normal to start with so we're going to yarn over and insert and do three treble crochets in the corner and we're then going to chain one so yarn over pull through for one we're then going to attach in the opposite um, square to where we are so we're going to go over there and we're going to select the corner space for this granny square and we're going to insert our hook from the top grab our yarn and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook for a slip stitch we're then going to ignore all of this and continue with our second cluster of three back into this corner space. So one, two, three. So that's that corner joined. We then work our way along this granny square here in exactly the same way. So we go into our next space from the top grab our yarn and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook for a slip stitch ignore that and work back into this square for your cluster for your cluster of three trebles two three again into the next space on this granny square insert from the top grab your yarn and pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook for a slip stitch ignore this granny square and work back into this next space with your next cluster of three so just continue on in exactly the same way inserting your hook from the top and then creating your slip stitch and then ignoring that granny square and working straight back in to this granny square here so one, 
two, three. I'll make my way to this corner so that you can see the corner again. So one cluster of three, chain one because it's a corner. So into this corner from the top, grab your yarn, pull through, slip stitch and then straight back into that same corner space with your second cluster of three trebles. And then continue to make your way around, um, pause the video here, make your way around, straight into each edge with a cluster of three and on the corner, cluster of three, chain two for the corner, cluster of three. And I'll meet you back at the end. So I've made my way back around and all that's left to do is join this row. Um, so we're joining in the same way as usual. Third stitch from the bottom of this first chain three. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. And then chain one, take your scissors and snip and then pull through, pull tight so to secure. So that's your granny squares joined. Um, I hope you liked this tutorial, if you did please give me a big thumbs up um, and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you click the bell button you will get notifications of when a new um, tutorial has been uploaded. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye bye.